Crosby. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what to do. Here, no, here's the last minute, and I still have a lot of Christmas shopping to do. How'll I get it done? Why, that's a cinch, Carp. You get everybody on your list war bonds or stamps. Mm -hmm. You can buy them almost anywhere, and they make a gift your friends will remember and our enemies can't forget. Well, say, thanks, Dr. Crosby. That's swell. Now I'm all set. The Christmas bells can ring any time they're ready. Well, I imagine they're ready now. Let's listen. Yes. Yeah. Craft Music all carries on with Faye Bainter, Andrew Toombs, Jack Carson, Ken Carpenter, John Scott Fowler and his orchestra, the music maids at Hal, the charioteers, and as of now, Miss Janet Blair and friends. You'd be so nice to come home to. You'd be so nice by the fire. While the breeze on high Sang a lullaby You'd be all that I could desire Under stars chilled by the winter Under an August moon burning above You'd be so So nice by the fire While the breeze on high Sang a lullaby You'd be all that I could desire Under an August moon burning above, you'd be so nice, you'd be paradise to come home to. the North Pole tonight, our amiable old friend Santa Claus is hopping ever which way, getting ready for his annual tour de force. Old St. Nick might be a little late coming down some of the chimneys over here because he's got plenty of new stops this semester. All the war posts, wherever his boys and girls are stationed, Santa's going to hit them all if he has to make it in two jumps. But we thought we might catch the old character before he hitched up Dancer Prancer and Fellow Deer and get some inside info on just what goes when Mr. and Mrs. Claus and all the subjunctive clauses... <laughs> Prepare for the takeoff. If we can melt some of the icicles off the wires, we're going to switch right up there to the North Pole, where Santa Claus's children are helping him to get started. Take it away, North Pole! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. Jingle bells, jingle all the Oh, that's the spirit, children. <laughs> a little flat, but so is everyone else just before Christmas. <laughs> now for a little rest before I start my arduous journey. Santa Claus, will you stop dilly-dallying? It's getting late. My dear Mrs. Claus, my beloved wife, at a time like this. Yes, at a time like this. Do you realize it's almost midnight and you haven't started yet? Never missed a Christmas in my life and I won't miss this one. Mm, well, you'd better not. All those people waiting for you and you sitting smoking your pipe. For shame. Come now, children. Help your father get started. Yes, Mother dear. Now, now get to work and pack your father's bag. I want it done before I get back. Santa Claus is our papa. Our mama done told us. <laughs> You want me to put some C-A-N-D-Y in the B-A-G? Hmm? Shh! You know your mother doesn't want me to smoke? <laughs> Father Claus, I did like you said and checked up on your team of reindeer. 
That's good. That's good. <laughs> Are all my reindeer in good order? Well, all except Blitzen. He's a little on the Fritzen. <laughs> Blitzen ate up his racing book and we had to scratch him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd think an animal that size could scratch himself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pop. Are you going to see Betty Grable again this year? Why, of course, son. I plan to spend quite a little... Uh, I, I mean, I I, uh, uh, I always try to fill Betty's stockings. I like the way she fills them better. <laughs> smart boy, uh, smart boy. I get around, don't I? Yet? <laughs> Happy Claus, are you all going to see Hedy Lamar, too? Why, certainly, Jonikins. Why, I... <laughs> I remember last year, I left a present for Hetty, and she kissed me. <laughs> Son, was my beard singed. Daddy Claus, are you still here? My dear Mrs. Claus, haven't you known me long enough to call me by my saint nickname? Well, get a jingle, Kringle. Hurry up, and I do mean you. Millions of children are waiting, and here you are, dilly-dallying like an old fuss budget. Now, here's your sky map. And be sure not to leave anyone out. Don't tell me what to do, Mrs. Claus. I'll run this business. <laughs> this isn't my first trip. Mm, well, remember, all you do is deliver. It's us women who pick out the merchandise. Okay, okay. I'll see all the youngsters and stop at all the battle stations. I know what to do. And be careful in those chimneys. You always come home with a soot suit and a smeared beard. <laughs> Well, I'll be careful, and on my way home, I'll stop at a hotel for a little rest. Where are you going to stop, Pop? Same place I always stay. I get a nice room there for a special rate. Two dollars for room and beer. <laughs> Say, Father Claus, isn't that something new this year, putting those sleigh bells on your fur cap? Yep, yep. <laughs> now I got furs that jingle, jangle, jingle. <laughs> Yes, but you always come back from those all-night trips with arctic circles under your eyes. That woman will never stop nagging. Come on now, boys. It's time to hitch up the reindeer. But first, you better take my bag out to the sleigh. Now, let's see. Where is it? Where's my bag? Oh, oh, oh there it is, over on the sofa. Gee, this is heavy. Come on, Harry. Help tote her. Oh, I can't budge her. What do you got in here, Pop? I'm in here, and you all let me down. <laughs> Every year, that Jonikins tries to stow away. Come on, Pop. I got the reindeer all set. Well, that's good. Goodbye. I, I mean, good boy. Good boy. Well, now, uh, good boy, everybody. I mean, goodbye, everybody. Good boy, Mrs. Claus. Be a good boy. Be a good, be a good wife till I return. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye, Nick. Here's an extra set of flannel underwear to wear. Many things are frozen in the United States, you know. How do you know? Well, I heard it on a newscast by, by Gabriel Refrigerator. That's his name. Well, they'll never free Santa Claus. They wouldn't do that. Why, they, they wouldn't dare. Why, if it weren't for all I stand for... Better hurry, Pop. The reindeer are getting restless. All right, all right. Don't rush me. Here I go. Giddy up. Giddy up, you reindeer. Aren't you going with the reindeer, Pop? <laughs> How many times have I told you, Harry, you're supposed to hitch the reindeer to the sleigh? Every year, new rules with the reindeer. <laughs> I'll get those deer back here. Go get them. Get them quick. Hurry up. I'll hitch him up good this time, Pop. There you are. That's fine. That's fine, son. Well, goodbye, all. Goodbye. Well, take off. He's tapping the big dipper. There he goes by the Milky Way. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What's that? Oh, a motorcycle cop is after Pop. He stopped him. Hey, you. What are you doing all dressed up in a red suit flying around the sky? Pull over to that clown. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Superman? <laughs> I'm Santa Claus. Oh, a wise guy. <laughs> Honest, I'm Santa Claus. Don't you see? I've got all these presents to deliver tonight. I'm going all over the world and stop wherever they'll let me land. And if I don't make it, it won't be Christmas. And when Christmas is lost, Never it'll be a... Never speeches. Why didn't you say who you were? Come on, I'll clear the way for you. Let's go. All right, come on. Get up. Come on. Prancer. Prancer. Donder. Cupid. Comet. 
Santa Claus I ever saw who looked exactly like Andrew Toombs. Some of them looked a little like Andrew Toombs, but this one looked enough like Toombs to be Toombs himself. Well, that's how it is. Going back a little way now, here's one that we've had a lot of requests for from a lot of men in a lot of places. Good morning, Mr. Zip, 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 with your haircut just as short as mine. Good morning, Mr. Zip, Zip, Zip. You sure are looking fine. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The shave tails don't get to the top kicks must. Good morning, Mr. Zip, Zip, Zip. With your haircut just as short as, your haircut just as short as, your haircut just as short as mine. Good morning, Mr. Zip, Zip, Zip. With your haircut just as short as mine. Good morning, Mr. Zip, Zip, Zip. You're surely looking fine. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. If the Louis don't get you, then the top kick must. Good morning, Mr. Zip, Zip, Zip. With your haircut just as short as, your haircut just as short as, your haircut just as short as mine. Days ago, here in the everybody in here in the old Kraft Music Hall received a letter from our friend and advisor, J. L. Kraft. Now it's not the usual sort of a Christmas letter from employer to employee. J. L.'s never are. It's certainly not front office stuff. It's the kind of a letter a man likes to read and reread. It starts to my friends, which means it really as much to you Kraft Music Hall listeners as it is to us. So I asked Ken to read you his copy. To my friends, each weekday morning as I walk into the Chicago office. The first sight which greets my eyes is our great service flag, a flag whose stars are ever growing in number. More than 800 blue stars are there emblazoned against a white field in this December of 1942. And almost every morning there are a few more added to the luster of the flag. On Sunday mornings, when I go into my home church, I'm greeted by another service flag with more than 200 represented there. Walking along the city streets, wherever I go, I see more and more windows lighted with a glory that was never there before. As I see the service flags, which mean so much to us personally, I'm reminded that the meaning of each star is twofold. Each service flag in a window means not alone that there's a member absent from that family circle, but as a symbol that the enduring light of home still shines for him and that it shall not be extinguished, that it is for his home and the multitude of homes which make up the United States of America that he fights around the globe today. This Christmas time, when we turn our thoughts and hearts to our boys so far away, and when their thoughts are warm and strong enough to reach around the earth and back to us, the light of this sacred birthday is a lamp unto our feet, bringing us all home in thought, in love, in faith, in rekindled devotion. The stars in our service flags take their light from a holy star, that one which led the wise men of old. May the abiding glory of Christmas time be upon you and upon yours wherever they may be. May it be our constant prayer that before another Christmas dawn shall break, the everlasting light may have overcome the darkness of the earth. Sincerely, J.L. Kraft. Thank you, J.L. 